Greetings and welcome to the Kingdom Impact Experience. On behalf of Prophet Dr. Terrence Kruger and staff, we would like to say thank you for joining us for today's service. We hope you brought the garment of praise, a heart of worship, and the expectation of limitless possibilities. We challenge you to raise your faith and pray that your experience today be one that is refreshing, rejuvenating, empowering, and most definitely life-changing. For the safety of all attendees, it is required that face masks to be worn while in the building. Thank you in advance for your cooperation in this matter. Now, get ready as we begin today's service with intercessory prayer. Amen, amen. Everybody get prepared. Everybody get ready. We're going to go to God in prayer. We're going to lay all our burdens, all our problems, all our pains, whatever we're going through, we're going to lay it at his feet. Amen. Lord, we just thank you for this day. We thank you, God, for bringing us here. We thank you for being present in our lives. We thank you for being all present. We thank you, God, for giving us peace, peace of mind, peace of heart, peace of spirit. We give you all glory and praise because you are worthy. We thank you right now because you are God. We honor your name. We honor your presence, oh God. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We glorify your name. We worship you. We honor your name. We give you all glory and praise. Come into this place. Move up and down the aisles, God. Touch our hearts, God. We come before you with a pure heart, a pure mind, God. We just want to worship you. We just want to praise you. We just want to give you what is due. We just want to give you everything. Everything that we have, everything, God, that we have is yours, God. And we just bless you. We just praise you. We just glorify you. Hallelujah, because you are worthy, oh God. Hallelujah, you are worthy, oh God. Hallelujah, you are worthy, oh God. We thank you. 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 We glorify you. We honor your name, oh God. There is none. There is none. There is none like you, oh God. We lift our voices to you, oh God. We lift our hearts to you, oh God. We glorify your name. There is none like you, oh God. Hallelujah, oh God. We thank you for your presence being in this place, oh God. We thank you, God, for your glory being in this place, God. We thank you for moving, God. We thank you for moving, oh God. We thank you for moving, oh God. Moving upon us, moving in this place, God. We thank you. We thank you, oh God. We glorify you, oh God. We give your name all praise, oh God. Hallelujah, God. We worship no one but you. We worship and glorify no one but you, oh God. We thank you, God. We thank you for everything you are doing for us, God. Thank you for the ways that you are making for us, oh God. Thank you for our families, God. Bring our families into the fold, God. Those who need to be healed, God, bring them in the place, oh God. Hallelujah, we just bless you. We bless you. We bless your name, God. We bless your name, oh God. Hallelujah. You're so worthy, God. You're so worthy, God. You're so worthy, God. We're so ready, God, to be in your presence. We're so ready, God, to be in your presence, God. Let your presence and your glory just overshadow us, God, in this place. Overshadow everyone in this place, oh God. Lord, everyone, God, that have needs, God, that have desires, oh God, things that are going on, God, we ask you to step in, God, and move and have your way, oh God. Hallelujah, God. Have your way, oh God, like never before, God. And we thank you. We thank you, oh God. We thank you. We thank you, oh God. We give you our whole heart. 
We give you our whole heart, God, not just a piece, but our whole heart, God. We give everything to you, oh God. We thank you, hallelujah, God. Everything that we are is because of you. Everything that we have is because of you, oh God. And we thank you. We praise you because we know it's nobody but you, oh God. Lord, we don't deserve it. We don't deserve everything that we have. We don't deserve everything that you do for us. We don't deserve everything that you give to us. But we thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God. You deserve more. You deserve better from us, oh God. And we will give you everything that we have. Hallelujah, God. We glorify you. We magnify your name, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is the highest name. He is the great man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes, yes, yes. There is none above you. There is none above you. There is none above you. We worship nobody but you. We glorify nobody but you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, God, we praise you. We bless you, God. Yes, God, you are to money, your money, your money, your money, your money, your money, God. We're not here for us, oh God. We're here for you. We give everything to you. Hallelujah, God. You do what you have to do. You move like you want to move. You move like we need you to move, God. And we thank you for your glory, cow, resting, resting in this place, resting in this place, resting in this place, resting in this place. Hallelujah. We thank you and we glorify you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, God, hallelujah. Let's continue to give him praise. Put our hands together to worship him. Put our hands together to glorify him. Put our hands together to magnify him. Put our hands together to give him what is due. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, it doesn't matter what it looks like, God. You deserve the praise. You get all the praise. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what it feels like. You get all the praise. You get all the glory, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, as we're entering into this place, well, as we have entered into this place, let our hearts and our minds continue to be in a mode of worship, a mode of praise. Because he is the one who deserves it all. Amen. Now we're going to get ready for our praise and our worship for today. Let's put our hands together, open our mouths, and worship him. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. You're worthy, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, God, we glorify you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you. We glorify you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. We glorify you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 How many thankful people we have in here today? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We're so thankful for you. Yes, God. We will praise you. We will worship you. We will open our mouths and praise you. We will praise you, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We glorify you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We magnify your name. Hallelujah. We glorify you. We glorify you. We glorify you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's so good to be in the house of God. It's so good to be in the house of God. We dare not come into the house of God and not give him what is due to him. Glory to God. Amen. We dare not come into the house of God and not give him what is due to him. We dare not come into the house of God and give him what is due to him. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so great. He 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 is so great. Hallelujah. He's gracious. He's kind. Hallelujah. He's magnificent. Hallelujah. We thank you that you're holy, God. Thank you, Lord, God. Thank you, Lord, God. Thank you, Lord, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say he's worthy of praise. He's worthy of glory. He's worthy of honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's so good, y'all. Hallelujah. He's so good. As I look back over my life and I see what he's done for me. Hallelujah. My soul just begins to get over joy. Hallelujah. He, it gets over joy. Hallelujah. Not just off of material things, but because he's been good to me spiritually. He's been good to me emotionally, mentally. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I could have lost my mind. Hallelujah. I done shared that testimony so many times, but I'm still here in my right mind. Thank you, Jesus. And guess what? It's much better than what it was. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's something to praise God about right there. Hallelujah. Because it could have been worse. Thank you, Jesus, than what it is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And I just thank God that I'm every day I'm getting better and better. Hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, you deal with struggles. Sometimes you deal with, you go through so much in your mind. And, but guess what? God is still good through it all. He's still good through it all. But I'm so grateful for it. I am so grateful for it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just want you to move around this room, and I want you to greet somebody, and I want you to tell them one good thing that the Lord has done for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We serve a great and mighty God. Hallelujah. We serve a great and mighty God. Welcome to those who are watching online. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We invite you to join in the service with us. Don't just watch us, but actually engage. Hallelujah. As though you are here in the presence of God. And I guarantee you that the same presence that's here will be the same presence that will meet you where you are. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands in this place. Hallelujah. Can you open your mouth and give God a shout of praise? Hallelujah. Come on, we can do better than that. Give him a shout of praise in this place. A shout of victory. Hallelujah. Any victorious saints in the place. Hallelujah. Regardless of what you're faced with, you're still victorious. Hallelujah. Your ending has already been prophesied. Hallelujah. That is victory, victory, victory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And we just thank the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. We want to give him praise and glory today. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands today. Glory and honor is due. Yeah. 
glory, all the glory, and the praise, and the praise, all the glory, all the glory, and the praise, say all the glory, 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 all the praise, 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 all the praise.
of faith. Come on, give me the praise. The size of a mustard seed. Come on, give me praise. And Come on, give me praise. I speak to the mountain. Come on, give me praise. I'll see it be moved. Come on, give me praise. Yes, I will. Come on, give me praise. So I praise them in advance. Come on, give me praise. Before the miracle happens. Come on, give me praise. I'll praise them in advance. Come on, give me praise. Before the breakthrough. Come on, hey, give me praise. I'll praise them in advance. Come on, give me praise. Because I know he's coming through. Cause I know he's coming through. Come on, give him praise. Cause I know he's coming through. Come on, give him praise. 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 I will bless the Lord. Come on, give him praise. At all times. Come on, give him praise. And it's praise. Come on, give him praise. Shall be in my mouth. Come on, give him praise. My soul shall make. Come on, give him praise. A boast in the Lord. Come on, give him praise. Come on, shall hear us. my story. Come on, give me praise. This is my song. Come on, give me praise. Praising my Savior. Come on, give me praise. All the day long. Come on, give me praise. Even when I'm going through. Come on, give me praise. I can look to you. Come on, give me praise. I look to the hills. Come on, give me praise. From which come in my hell. Come on, give me praise. Oh, my hell. Come on, give me praise. Comes from the Lord. Come on, give me praise. Which made heaven. Come on, give me praise. Which made heaven. Come on, give me praise. Which made to heaven come on give me praise and the earth come on give me praise he breathed into the nostril come on give me praise of the man come on give me praise he became a living soul come on give me praise he became a living soul come on give me praise now my bible says come on give me let praise. everything that hath breath come on give me let praise let everything that hath breath come on give me praise praise the lord come on give me praise i won't hold back come on give me praise i won't restrict my side come on give me but I'll give you everything. Come on, give me praise. But I'll give you everything. Come on, give me praise. Because you've been good. Come on, give me praise. You've been great. Come on, give me praise. You've been kind. Come on, give me praise. When I didn't deserve it. Come on, give me praise. You were still good. Come on, give me praise. Even when I didn't deserve. Come on, give me praise. Even when I didn't deserve. Come on, give me praise. Even when I didn't deserve. Come on, give me praise. Even when I didn't deserve. Come on, give me praise. I'll praise you. Come on, give me praise. Bless you. Come on, give me praise. I lot of you. Come on, give me praise. Yes, I will. Come on, give me praise. I didn't get here. Come on, give me praise. On my own. Come on, give me praise. But it was the grace of Come God. Come on, give me praise. It was His mercy. Come on, give me praise. His everlasting love. Come on, give me praise. His everlasting love. Come on, give me praise. His peace. Come on, give me praise. He gave me joy. Come on, give me praise. He gave me joy. Come on, give me praise. He gave Yes, he did. Come on, give him praise. Yes, he did. Come on, give him praise. Come on, clap, clap, clap your hands. Say, oh, 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 oh. Hey, say, oh. Bless the Lord right there. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. With everything that's in you. 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 Bless the Lord. With everything that's in you, hey, bless the Lord. One more time, say, with everything that's in you, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Now come on, somebody shout to the Lord. Oh, I can't hear you in this place. Somebody shout to the Lord. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's been faithful. He's been good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through sickness, through infirmity. God's been good. Hallelujah. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. He's a redeemer. He's magnificent. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 
He's exalted, King is exalted, and I, I will praise him. He is exalted, the King is exalted, and I will praise his name. Exalted, the king is exalted on high. He is exalted, the king is exalted, and I, I will praise him. He is exalted, the king is exalted, and I will praise him. Exalted on high. One more time, say he is exalted. Say he is exalted. The king is exalted on high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. He's incredible. He's incredible. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. We adore you. We no one before you. No one before you. He's incredible. He's incredible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. He's incredible. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Say, I give you glory, I give you glory, I give you honor, I give you honor, I give you praise, I give you praise, I give you praise, I give you praise. Lift your voice and worship him all over this place. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. You're wonderful, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody honor the Lord in this place. Come on, don't let your worship die. Come on, come on, come on. I give you praise. I give you praise. 
listen to my name. Me. 
better than good to me. Better than good to me. I will see. Better than good to me. A better life. Better than good to me. Cause I know God will. Better than good to me. He'll bring me on the other side. Better than good to me. He's better than good to me. Better than good to me. Even in my future. Better than good to me. Even though I haven't gotten there. Better than good to me. He's better than good to me. Better than good to me. Every promise he kept. Every promise he made Better than good to me I shall see it Better than good to me I shall see it Better than good to me I shall experience Better than good to me The good of the land Better than good to me Yeah, 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 yeah Better than good to me Yeah, 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 yeah Better than good to me God, when I should have been dead Better than good to me When I should have been killed Better than good to me When I should have been locked up Better than good to me You've been better than good to me Better than good here on my own. Better than good to me. I didn't get here on my own. Better than good to me. I did get here on my own. Better than good to me. I didn't get here on my own. Better than good to me. You've been better. 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 Give God worship. Come on, give Him honor. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in my heart to praise you. It's in my heart to worship. It's in my heart to honor. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. When I should have been destroyed, you kept me. When I should have went down. You help me up, you clean me up, you gave me a clean heart, and renew the right spirit, hey, and renew the right spirit inside of me, inside of me, you gave me a word, which is a lamp unto my feet, and a light to my path, I'll hide the word. I'll hide the word in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Cause you've been good to me. You've been good to me. Even when it didn't all make sense, he's still been good. Even when I didn't understand, he's still been good. Even when I wanted to throw in the towel, He's still been good. Because guess what I realize? Every day that I wake up, I got his breath in my body. He could have decided last night to take it out of here. He could have said, I know I told you I got promises for you, but I'm going to take you today. But I'm alive, I'm alive. I'm alive, I'm alive. I'm alive, I'm alive. That's enough to praise him. I'm alive, I'm alive. 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 Yes, Lord. I'm alive, I'm alive. Hey, I'm alive, I'm alive. I haven't always been good. But I'm alive, I'm alive. 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 I've been a person that has experienced rejection. I've been a person that has experienced abandonment. But one thing I can truly say is God never left me. He never forsake me. Hallelujah. But he says by his promise that he'll be with us to the end of the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody
somebody give God a shout of praise right there. Come on, release a sound from your heart. Release a sound from your spirit that activates a supernatural. Release a sound. Release a sound. Yeah. bring out in this place let your worship ring out in this place when the music stop what you gonna do is your worship real come on do you still have a sound 
hallelujah Jesus that will break barriers that will cause change do you still have a sound glory 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 come on somebody hallelujah it's that very moment that you almost give up the very moment that you almost stop pressing in that you're close to your breakthrough you're close to your miracle glory 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 I feel a miracle close. Glory, glory, glory. 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 Yamandio so she did the other behope. I look here on a man did the outside. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. 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 Glory, glory. Glory, glory. See, you got to understand that when you lift your voice like a trumpet, hallelujah, it begins to cause things to happen spiritually. Hallelujah. Even when you look through the Bible times, you will see that when a trumpet is blown, something is about to happen. A trumpet announces something. The trumpet announces his presence. The trumpet announces his arrival. Hallelujah. And when there is no sounding of the trumpet, you will not see a manifestation. This is why we tell you to shout to the Lord. This is why we tell you to lift up your voices. We don't need a physical trumpet. You got a trumpet right here. Glory to God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glory, glory. Glory, glory. Glory, glory. Glory, glory. Because one thing I understand is I don't care if I lose my voice in the presence of God as long as his presence came. Because I know that when I go home, I got some issues I need worked out. I know I got some bills that need to be paid. I, I got some stuff that I'm believing in for. And I got to make sure that I give him everything. Because the closer I get to his presence. Because see, there's levels to this thing. See, a lot of people, they just know how to barely enter in. But when I can get to a place where I go in and I explore, I don't stop at the gate. I keep pressing. Guess what? Because if I keep pressing, the closer I get to God, the more next thing you know, I can't even stand. Because when you're in his presence, everything got to bow. When you're in his presence, everything got to kneel. Hallelujah. It's more than just a mention of the name of Jesus. It's the presence of Jehovah too. Glory to God. And when his presence comes in, he will stop everything just to set things in motion. Uh, did you hear me? I say he will stop everything just to set things in motion. He will stop everything just to set everything in motion. So whatever is out of alignment will come into alignment. Whatever needs to be shifted will begin to be shifted. Hallelujah. When his presence comes. 
So when I come in the house of God, it's more than just making noise and sounding like, oh, we in a concert. No, 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 no. I do what I do and I exert the energy because guess what? All through the week, I give everything that I want to give attention to all of my energy. I give my job my energy. I jump in my car and give food energy when I go to them drive throughs Hello. Glory to God. When I, watch this. When I'm in the kitchen cooking, I give it all my energy. Why? Because I want it to satisfy me. I want it to please me. I want it to make me happy. So when I stand in the presence of God, how much more should there be a sound? There should be a worship oozing out of me. The reason why there can't be an oozing of worship is because it's not thick enough developed through the week. When you see a runny worship, when you see something that's real watered down, it's because nobody's worshiping during the weekday. When we begin to praise our problems, praise <clears throat> our issues, praise, watch this, even our infirmities, we give it more praise than God. When it gets more attention, than spending time, hallelujah, with the most high God, to experience God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I ain't got time to be worshiping no other God. Hallelujah. If I spend more time in front of the TV, but then when it comes down to spending time with God, I got every excuse to say, I just ain't got no time. You a liar. You got time. You just ain't made time. You got to learn how to adjust that schedule. Because guess what? When you desperate for something, I don't care if you if it take 10 minutes. If the rest of my day, if I got, if I got to work for, for, for almost 24 hours, guess what? One thing about it is, I'm a, I bet you I got a lunch break. But you know what? Sometimes when we have been breaks in life, we look for every moment to make it selfish. We make it about us. And when we make it about us, we will miss what God's trying to release. And God is saying, you know what? It ain't always that I'm looking for you to holler. It ain't always that I'm, I'm looking for you to do all these uh, uh, bodily aerobics. I'm just looking for your heart. Because guess what? When you love somebody and you love something so greatly, it's going to get so such joy out of you. It's going to get such energy out of you. You know why? Because I want to express it. I want to shout it to the rooftop. I want to shout it to the rooftop. Because why? God's been so good to me. He's been so good to me. And guess what? You don't praise him because you want something. Yes, we, we have taught people. You know, you praise him in advance. Amen. But every time you praise, if you just praise him in advance, you praise him incorrectly. Your praise is conditional and it ain't real. You have to get to a place where your praise and your worship begins to flow from you on a regular. Somebody look to you and they even say, you're, you're praising your worship. Got to flow from you on a regular. This is how it becomes thickened. So if you want to experience the weight of God, you got to give some weight of worship. You got to give weight of honor. Nobody goes into a king's presence without reverencing and honoring them first and gets and expects to get something. I don't come into the king's palace and come before his throne and I just say, I want you to give me such and such. No, 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 your majesty. I honor you when I step into your presence. And like I said the other week, Guess what? When I come into the house of the Lord, this ain't my house. So when I step into God's house, I should have something to say to him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I should have something to offer him. In the Old Testament, the people, watch this, even in the natural they didn't come before the kings, the queens, the prophets, and the men and women of God without bringing gifts. Why? They weren't paying for services. They were, pay they were literally giving honor and respect for the person in their office. But these days, we, we teach grace, and that's good. We teach grace, and we teach, you know, just worship and praise God. Praise and worship. And that's wonderful. But it has become too common. 
to the point where as praise and worship no longer becomes a real thing, it just becomes a religious thing. It's just something I do when I come in church. I just know I'm, they're going to tell me to lift my hands. I lift my hands. You know, <coughs> if they sing the right song, thank you. They, if they sing the right song, guess what? I, can, I start leaping. I start jumping, you know, because they sing in my song. And guess what? Don't, don't, don't let them sing your song. Don't let them sing your song. Because guess what? When they start singing your song, you know, hey, you all in worship. You ain't moved the whole service. But as soon as they sung your service, you know what that means? That means praise and worship is really about you and it's not about God. You're coming to be entertained. And when you come to be entertained, you're going to miss that what's in the hand of God. Because God's like, no, 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 because you can't even worship me in my house. Let's know do you worship me during the week. But you can't worship me in my own house. But you come and your posture is, I want God to give me this house. I want God to give me this car. I want God to give me that job. I want him to give me that money. So, therefore, I'm going to praise him like I lost my mind. And guess what? When you get it, you lost your praise. You know what that means? I'm going to tell you something real hard. That means you done lost your mind. Oh, God. Okay. That, that means I lost my mind. Because guess what? If I'm taking on the mind of Christ, if I got a real mind of Christ, then I know my praise will be sustained regardless when I'm going through and when I'm up, when I'm down. My praise is going to be consistent. Somebody say consistent. I've been teaching a lot on praise lately because I want you to get it. Because I'm trying to shape this out. Because guess what? You will never see consistent miracles here if you don't posture yourself first. If we don't have the real heart of worship and the heart of praise, you won't see people getting healed. You won't see deliverance. Why? Because guess what? Do you not realize that even if I was to come in here next Sunday, is prophetic Sunday. If the atmosphere ain't right, I can't prophesy to nobody. But you're a prophet. You could tap into the prophetic. Yes, but there are times in moments like that that you have to have an atmosphere. And if the atmosphere is off, if, some, if something is off, if there's not like a day of Pentecost where they all on one accord, you will miss the whole move of God. And you'll come and say the prophet didn't do nothing. Glory to God. This is why I'm real careful about having services and putting the name miracle service on it. It ain't that God can't do it and that he won't show up. Because guess what? I'm tired of coming to church and the only thing we see is people falling out on the floor and people speaking in tongues and we getting a prophecy and going home. No, I'm tired of that. That's wonderful. But you're only experiencing one little portion of God's house. You're only experiencing one little portion of what he said in his word that you can receive. I'm trying to get to the fullness. Ain't no reason in the world that we should only see a miracle one time a year. No reason. Hallelujah. You know why the people, Sister Brooklyn, over in Africa get miracles on a regular basis? Because them people come hungry before they even step in the door. Them people are literally lining up before service even, the doors even unlock. They standing in lines that's wrapped around the building trying to get in. But nowadays you can't even get people to come on time. Glory to God. Those people are hungry. Hunger will change your posture and it'll change your timing. Tell your neighbor, say, hunger will change your posture and your timing. I ain't preaching on none of us. I'm just telling you something to help you get somewhere. Because guess what? If we, if we master it, we'll have something that a lot of these other churches don't have. Yes, the anointing is here. Yes, we got power here. Thank you, God. However, I'm, I'm just tired of seeing the norm. I don't want to see the dawn. I want to see the supernatural power of God. And you know why a lot of people still out there and ain't in here? It's more than just we ain't going to get them. But it's the simple fact they hungry and looking for something. And if I don't see what your church is really offering, it, what I need to come for, I can stay out here and still be stuck. I can stay out here and still be, uh, still be battling with my sickness, my illness. What answer do you have? The reason why people flock to Jesus is because there was an answer every time they came. Glory to God. This is why 
when we come in, we got to make sure that we set the right tone with us first. And then when we come in, and guess what? Sometimes you might be going through something. You might not be full. But guess what? Do what you can. Press your way. Sometimes I might not, I might not can lift my hands at that moment, but I still got a mouth. Press your way. Because guess what? When you start doing that, especially those who got the prayer language of tongues, if you begin to pray, I guarantee you whatever is happening will begin to shift. But the, the problem is that's good encouragement. That was good. Somebody say that was good encouragement. But it's not Bible. Now let me tell you what the Bible really says. It says put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. You've heard this several times over the last several weeks. Why? Because God wants it to echo in your spirit that it will never leave you. Because, see, we, we're so used to coming to get the word and being taught, and then we go home and forget everything that we got. This is why I tell y'all, take notes. Because most of the time, you'll come back and keep asking me the same question about the same stuff that I already taught. But you can just go back to your journals and look and see what I already taught. The answers are right there. You'll have a book by now. Glory to God. Because what I'm giving you are principles for life that's going to help you be successful, even beyond the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you, praise should not be strong just here. Because let me tell you something, I can tell if you've been praising during the week, because when you get in here, your praise is weak. If you ain't been praising and worshiping during the week, I'll see it. Guess what? If you don't have a prayer life, I'll see it. I was telling y'all during Bible study, during diving, guess what? Oftentimes I could tell where, you know, where a person is spiritually by listening to them pray in tongues. Because if you still is praying the same way that you was praying two and three years ago, and now you still sound the same, something ain't something sh ain't shifted by now, something wrong. Well, prophet, everybody tongues don't shift like that. <laughs> okay. That's because you ain't experienced it. That's you telling on yourself. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But God wants you to shift. Somebody say shift. He wants you to shift so that you can experience. Tell your neighbor, say, he wants you to shift. Y'all sound dead in here. He wants you to shift so that you can experience. Tell him again, say, he wants you to shift so that you can experience. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, I'm going to tell you why some people's, some people's, uh, 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 you can be seated because I guess this is going to be the word for today. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. One of the reasons why a lot of people do not experience, uh, can you bring my phone, please? One of the reasons why people cannot experience, can you bring it? Thank you. Please bring it. Thank you. One of the reasons why people cannot experience On a regular basis, the goodness of God. Let me show you something. Favor comes according to your relationship. Now, God can favor who he wants to. He reigns on the just as well as the unjust. However, there's a level of favor where the hand of God is just on you. That wherever you go, people have to bless you. People have to look out for you. Doors have to open for you. It's like walking to the way I sit in the spirit. It's like when you go to a building that has an automatic door, you ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to raise your hand. You got to wave or nothing. You do what? You just walk. And guess what? I have faith to know the door go automatically open. Glory to God. Glory to God. But what happens, sister lady, if I walk to a door and I'm expecting it to open and I run right into it, that means something is wrong for that door not to be activated. Glory to God. Sometimes, you know what we do when them doors are, uh-oh. We're doing all this trying to make it open. But if you don't have access, it won't open. Glory to God. So guess what? If I don't have that relationship and that access key and that favor that's on me, ain't nothing opening for me. Ain't nothing opening. And guess what happened? Woman of God, we start getting frustrated. We'll get upset. 
Because why? I'm not seeing no manifestation. Why I seem like all my stuff being held up? So I need to check to see, okay, is there something? Because guess what? We so quick to do this. Oh, it ain't nobody but the devil. <laughs> nobody but the devil. <clears throat> Sometimes. But at what point is it you? At what point is, you, is it you? At what point are we going to look at ourselves and be able to say, you know what? No, I, I just was jacked up right there. I, I, you know, I just messed up. Can you bring me? Thank you. I'm thirsty. Thank you, Jesus. At what point can I look and be able to say, you know, that was just, that was all me. That was all me. Thank you, Jesus. It was all me. So I got to learn to take the blame for problems that I create. But watch this. The issue is God does not point out, oh, this is good. Tell your neighbor, look to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Some of y'all ain't talking to your neighbor. Glory to God. Look to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Say, the reason why some things are not changing is because you haven't. The reason why some things are not changing is because I haven't. You know, it's a song that the old saints used to sing. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh, Lord, standing in need of prayer. Oh, glory. But you know what? A lot of times these days when we stand in the need of prayer, oh, Father, I ask that you would move and give me, touch my boss, touch my boss, oh, God, and make them give me a raise. God, oh, God, you got, you got to make this happen for me and this and the third. At what point is there relationship? If your whole prayer life is only coming to God, when you got a problem, when you need to vent, when you need to ask for something, that ain't no real relationship. You're just a beggar. Oh, God. I got some stuff I got to say heavy because I, I really wanted to hear. You're just a beggar. If you ain't never just have conversation with God and just, God, I just, you know, you're just so wonderful. And not turn around and say, now, God, I need you to do this. For, no, no. Sometimes you just need to sit there and have conversation with God. Like you have with your friends. Like you have with Bay. Uh oh. You you gotta learn how to have relationship and conversation. Sometimes, guess what? The reason why some people don't like having conversations with people is because of the simple fact they feel like they ain't gonna get a response. So what's the point of me talking to somebody that ain't gonna talk back to me? Sometimes and then you wanna complain when nobody wanna listen to you and they always over talking you. Well, when he try to listen to you, that ain't good enough for you. I need you to say something. I need you to say something. He don't need to say nothing all the time. But you know the way God, God works? You know, it's so amazing because he tells us, he say, be quick to listen and be slow to speak. And God is very well on his word. Because guess what? He's quick to listen. And sometimes he what? I can't hear. He what? Uh-oh, somebody going to catch that. That's going to help somebody. I know it said some people free today. Glory to God. And you wonder, why does it seem like he ain't saying nothing right now? Because he's sometimes slow to speak. Because guess what? Sometimes God will show you the problem by you talking. You know what that means? You'll be sitting there, I don't know, God, why this ain't going, why, why this ain't happening, and so on and so forth, and this, that, and the third. And God will sit right there and be quiet. And when it gets still enough, and you stop talking, after a while, you start, re you start realizing, oh, Lord, it's me. But then you got that, that battle in you that you got to get at, but God, oh, Lord, <laughs> but God, you don't know what they did and how this happened. And you don't understand how that organization did this and so on and so on. Yes, he do. He was watching the whole time. He ain't blind. He see more than you see. Watch this. Even before you even make an action, he see what's in your heart first. So before, before you say no, before you say yes, before you engage, before you retreat, guess what? He already know it because it's in your heart before it comes out of you. So watch this. When I see it, 
he'll 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 start. I'm not, you know. And then you're like, well, why, God, well, why, you know, if you didn't like this, why you ain't say nothing? Well, because you don't read. Oh, because <laughs> you don't read. I did say something. You just don't listen. Uh oh, you just don't listen to me. Thank you, baby. You just, I know he wasn't even talking about the word, but that was right on time. <laughs> see, 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 you, he just, watch this. I just don't listen. Because what? Bible say, faith comes by what? Oh, I can't hear you. Hearing and hearing by what? Oh, Lord. But I don't understand what I'm supposed to do in this. Did you read? That you ain't listening. You're looking for God to say something audibly, and he already spoke to you. Matter of fact, he was so prophetic that he spoke to you thousands of years ago and told them to put it in a manuscript called the Bible. And guess what? He said, you know, because I already know that there's generations to come that's going to need answers. And guess what? I want you to go ahead and put it in the book so they can have it and can look back to it. So when they get ready to come through these trials, come through these tribulations, go through these situations, they can begin to look back at my word and begin to say, he already gave me the answer. But we scared of that book. <laughs> we scared of that book. Glory to God. Ooh, Jesus. I'm going to tell you because the Holy Ghost just told me. He say, we are dealing with people that read more text messages than they read the word. We read more posts than the, now Holy Ghost, don't do that one now. Watch this. We, 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 we observe more TikTok than we do observing the scriptures. Oh God, you want drama, read the word. There's a lot of it in there. People cheating on people, people killing people, <laughs> all kind of stuff. You know, you want to go, a good murder she wrote, go ahead. It's right all in there for y'all that like that old stuff. Thank you, Jesus. Law and order, you'll find it right there in the scripture. They had all kind of trials and stuff and, you know, murder cases that we had to figure out. Guess what? <clears throat> you, wanna, you want something where there was unsolved mysteries? Guess what? There was a time in the word where uh, 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 Saul's father lost their, they lost their sheep. And they had to come to the prophet, and the prophet gave the answer. Unsolved mysteries. Ooh, God. Guess what? Uh-oh, you want another unsolved mystery? You want a murder case. Oh, okay. Because I remember there was somebody called Cain and Abel. Mm -hmm. And, and, and when, 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 when Cain thought that nobody was going to find out that he killed his brother, the blood began to cry out to God from the ground. I began to say, wait a minute, uh, Abel dead. I, I'm, I'm spilt on the ground. The life is spilt on the ground. The life is spilt on the ground. And God began to do an unsolved mystery. He began to do a criminal mind. Glory to God. And he began to get into the mind of the criminal. Glory to God. And he began to deal with that matter. He began to say, you killed your brother. No, not me. Why would I do such a thing? Yeah, you would. You forgot who I am. Glory to God. I am the best detective you will ever see in your entire life. And you ain't even seen me yet. Your daddy has. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot in that word. Glory to God. Glory to God. But you know, when, when the word is boring to you, oh, Jesus. If the word is boring to you, you won't engage in it. Oh, God. Well, I've been guilty. You might not say amen, but I will. Amen. There are some stories I just don't want to read. And then guess what? You'll get in church somewhere and somebody will start teaching and preaching on that story. And be like, oh, I didn't even know that was in there. And the God be like, um, uh, yeah, that was that story that you overlooked because you thought it was boring. Oh, God. We, we, we like to go find all the scriptures that we want to apply to us. You know, I, 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 I bless you and you're coming and you're going. We, we want to find all those scriptures that talk about, you know, uh, how he'll supply all my needs. That's the only thing you read is stuff that's going to benefit you. Stuff that's going to get you what you want. And God say, no, stop being halfway. I need you to be whole. 
So you thought being whole was just God making everything well in your life. Yeah, he going to make everything well, but it's going to start with that word. Because guess what? We got to be stop, stop being prophetic hungry. You got some people. <laughs> let me be careful. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> let me be careful because I ain't trying to get in trouble, Sister Lady. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. People, people be calling me out to church. Prophet, would you talk about me? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I, all I can tell you is that the shoe fit where, but I wasn't talking to, I wasn't talking directly to you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Some people are so prophetic hungry that, you know, if, if it ain't, oh, Lord Jesus. I'm going to say it because I'm the prophet. Thank you, Jesus. If, if, if it ain't a prophecy going forth, I ain't coming. Glory to God. Now watch people probably going to try to prove a point next Sunday. Well, I ain't coming this prophetic Sunday. I'll wait till the next one since he just said what he said. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So, so we got to understand that when it comes down to it, if you want to see results, you got to get the right answers in the right direction. And God ain't going to always talk to you audibly. He ain't going to always speak to you in a dream. He going to speak to you through his word. God's not... God is not a parrot that he got to keep echoing himself. He already said it. God is sure and confident in what he said. So when he said that said it, that's it. Now, sometimes when the word is already in you at right seasons at certain times, then what begins to happen is God begins to, he starts to confirm. He starts to confirm. Thank you, Jesus. He starts to confirm. Thank you, Jesus. He starts to confirm certain things that introduce or prepares you to walk into something. It's like an introduction. So he'll start, he'll start quoting stuff to you to let you know this is the destination you're about to arrive at. This is what's about to happen. Glory to God. But like I said the other week, the Holy Ghost is not going to just supernaturally bring up scriptures in you all the time like that. There are very few rare occasions that you will hear somebody that will say that a scripture they've never read before, God just spoke it to their spirit, and they went and found it, and they had never seen it before. That is rare occasions. That is not a normal thing. So don't live life like that. You got to study for yourself. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And I just want to drop this little quick prophetic word that the the Lord gave to me, and I'm done. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I was just going with God today. Thank you, Jesus. I done gave y'all a whole buffet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't pick and choose what you want on this one. Just eat the whole thing. Glory to God. Eat the whole scroll. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Somebody say glory to God. Come on, give the Lord praise. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 23. Psalm 23. Verse 4. We had a new building with Sister Belinda. I'm waiting on you to get that mic ready. Glory to God. <laughs> she done got she done got comfortable. She write notes and everything. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Glory to God. What does it say? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of so death. So even though I walk, it is a guarantee that there are going to be seasons and times that I'm going to go through what is considered to be valleys of what? Shadow of death. Valley of the shadow of death. Now one thing about valleys is you know, that ain't a place that you want to just live. I, I just want to live down in the valley. You know, no. No. Especially not when it has a label of death over it. It says the valley of the shadow or shadows? Shadow. The shadow of death. That means that there is something hovering over that area 
something hovering over that region. There is a valley where there is a shadow of death. You know how you go into, you can go into a room or go into a place and you just, ooh, it just, mm mm. It just feels real bad in here. It hovers over. There are seasons and times that you're going to go through and God says it's going to feel like everything is dying and drying up. It's going to feel like nothing's working. It's going to look like nothing's happening. It's going to look like, well, dog, I don't see no flowers. I was just prospering. Now it looked like everything been taken. Look like everything failing. Look like everything going wrong that could go wrong under the sun. Look like, every, I mean, every, I'm getting one blow after the other. Guess what? Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, what does it say? I will fear no evil. So I'm going to teach you something. Whenever you're reading the scriptures, don't stay too far from your scriptures because you never know what I'm going to call it. Amen. All right. So read it again. What did it say? I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. Somebody say, I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. Well, prophet, sometimes I get a little scared. Mm -hmm. Do you not realize that the shadow of death don't come by itself? But there's another shadow called intimidation. There's another shadow called fear. There are shadows. Because guess what? Watch this. Let me show you how I can prove it. If I walk into a place and it looks like everybody dying, what comes over me? Fear of death. Now, when I see it looks like I'm walking through a place and I'm seeing somebody or something taking everybody out, what happens to me? I become what? Intimidated. And fearful. So the scripture didn't tell y'all the in-betweens. This is why you got to get revelation. When you read the word, don't just be reading it just to say you read it. Read it and process it. Because guess what? Though I walk through seasons and times where it seems like death, it seems like things are dying. It seems like things are not working. It seems like nothing's happening for me. Guess what? Sometimes it can be scary. But my Bible says that he is not what? Giving me the what? Spirit of fear. So therefore, he gave me what? Power, love, and a sound mind. So therefore, I got to understand that if he gave me power, that means that fear don't have no hold over me. So therefore, if I'm walking in real power, then that means that because he has not given me the spirit of fear, it, you are illegal. So anything is le that's illegal, I have the power or authority to be able to deal with you. Glory to God. Let me tell your neighbor, say, you don't need no title on your name to walk in authority. You just need Jesus. So watch what happens. So now, all of a sudden, fear comes to harass me. Shadow of death comes to harass me. And let me, let me tell you something. Every death ain't God. There are demons that operate to kill. And they go by the name death. So it ain't, it ain't always, oh, God sent the death angel. No, come out of that religious mindset. No, you read one scripture and all of a sudden everything a death angel. No, no. No, God sent a death angel in Egypt for a reason. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. It was a reason and a set time for that. Glory to God. But there are spirits of death that come and they seek to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, what I did what? Came that you may have what? Life and what? More abundantly. So watch this. Though I walk through where? The shadow of death. The what? Shadow of death. What's before that? The shadow. What's before that? Valley. So though I walk through what? 
I need you to read in that mic for me. Come on, come on. I need you to work with me. Valley of the shadow of death. Okay. I'm trying to teach you and teach you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. So, guess what? There's some, some seasons. There's not, watch this. There's some places you will go in that death has territory. He has that whole territory. You walk into a room, it ain't nothing but slander. And then you walk in there and just feel the tension. Ooh, mm -mm. No, there's arguing going on in here. No, oh, uh -uh. something don't feel right. Something off in my spirit. Because of the simple fact, there is a spirit that hovers. There's a shadow. And one thing about a shadow is a shadow don't have features. It don't have features. So sometimes, it, you know what it takes? It's something called discerning of spirits. That you got to be able to have by way of the Holy Ghost to be able to identify what is this. Because though I see that something's wrong, I got to identify what is it. Glory to God. You ever, you ever uh, uh, was standing somewhere and you looked down and you saw your shadow, but you saw another shadow and you didn't know what it was until you what? Turned around to see what it was. So spiritually, you got to be the same way. You got to be able to be attentive to any shadow that you see in your life. Anything that's hovering over your life, anything that's affecting your life, you got to identify it. Don't be so quick to cry about it. Don't be so quick to, oh, I just stuff the, oh, it happened. No, 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 come out of that. Come out of pity. Come out of pity. The prophet, we just have moments. Yeah, we do, but come out of that real quick. Because you'll never get the answer if you're just having a fit. The answer comes when you investigate. And he's giving you what? Power and a sound mind. So anything that comes to rock your mind, it ain't of God. It's a terrorist. So now I got to be able to defeat the terrorist before you drop your bomb. Oh, God. I ain't going to let you drop no bombs on me. No, no, no. Because when you, when you do cause an explosion, everything going haywire. Glory to God. And sometimes that's what's happening when it seems like everything is falling apart. We have allowed the enemy to come in and drop bombs, and they have set off. But one thing about it is God knows how to cause you to recover. He know how to help you to recover. And so we got to get to a place where we allow ourselves to be led by the word of God and the light of God. And we talked about that light last week. How you just got to open your mouth. So when I go, oh, glory to God. Thank you. Hey, glory to God. I just caught that thing in the Holy Ghost. I'm trying to release it. Thank you, Jesus. Watch this. So though I go through what? The valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil because guess what? When I open my mouth and praise God through the process, light begins to cause the shadow to disappear. Light will literally cause darkness to flee. Glory to God. This is why when you go through moments like that, fear try to come over you. Intimidation try to come over you and it keeps you silent. Because I can't let them open their mouth. Because the moment they open their mouth, they don't, if they realize how powerful they are, we'll be defeated too quick. So we got, we got to keep them distracted. So what, does, what happens with distractions? We got to keep the shadows moving to create illusions to throw them off. Because guess what? If you walking through your house and you see a, you walking out of your business, all of a sudden you see a shadow running across, oh, Lord. You done got distracted for a second. Either you're going to get scared or you're going to do something about it. Thank you, Jesus. Because guess what? You ain't having my house. You know, I know that's the, the thing that the trend people say, uh-uh, you can have this house. You got this car. You can have everything because I don't want it no more. The devil is a liar. This is mine. You ain't keeping nothing that belongs to me. I work too hard to have this. And I ain't going to be scared of no devil. And you going to run me up at my house. I might have hollered real quick, but guess what? I'm going to bounce back. You better, you better get out. Walk in power. Somebody say walk in power. power. And a sound mind. And see, let me show you one of the key things, and I'm almost done. When you walk in a sound mind, when you have a sound mind, you know what one of the main stabilities of the mind is? 
when you walk in accordance with his word. That's what keeps your mind stable. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do you renew your mind? Not according to what you think and what you feel. You renew it according to the word. So as my mind gets renewed and I take on the mind of the word of God, then guess what? When the shadow comes, the word starts regurgitating. Uh-uh, you're going to get up out of here. In the mighty name of Jesus. You ain't got no power here. And whatever power you feel like you got is revoked. Now go back to your kingdom and don't come back. Or next time you're going to get a worse whooping than that. You got to let the devil know who's boss. But guess what, Brother Shema? He ain't going to always leave and not come back. Sometimes that devil, he going to test your limits. Because sometimes he look at us and he like, they just all talk. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave right now. I'm going to make them, watch this, and guess what? He, when he do that, sometimes he's trying to make you feel like you're powerful. He really trying to psych you out. You thought you done psyched him out. Sister Belinda, glory to God. You, th you, think, you think he done psyched you out. Glory to God. I'm sorry, you think you done psyched him out, he done psyched you out. But I'm telling you, God has a way. For those who are willing and those who are ready, glory to God, it's on the other screen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know what's going on. I think it's something just with the internet. It's all right. It's all right. Unless you found it. Thank you, Jesus. But God is good. Amen. Amen. So he says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? What's the next? Can somebody shout out to me what's the next line in that? What does it say? Because what? For what? Say it in the microphone for me. Thank you, Jesus. I want to hear that powerfully. Glory to God. For what? For thou art with me. For thou art with me. Who is thou? God. God. For he's with me. So you know what that means? When you change your mentality to realize that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Then I understand that I don't care what the world do and what the devil does, what shadow comes, what illusion comes, what intimidation comes, what fear comes. Guess what? There's a greater one in me than he that's in the world. But you know what the devil's trying to do? He's trying to penetrate. He's trying to penetrate and cause there to be something planted in you to knock God out. Because when I start reverencing fear more, when I start reverencing fear more than I do God, I'm walking around fearful. Because do you not realize that the Bible says that the, uh, the cowardly will not make it in heaven? Oh, Lord. Jesus, help us, God. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The cowardly shall not make it into heaven. And I feel real bad, you know, for a lot of the saints when, when um, as we get deeper into the end time. We're already in the end time. Like, we done been hearing this prophecy for years and years and years. But if you ain't paying attention to the signs of the times now, it just ain't got worse yet. It's finna get worse. Hallelujah. It's not, I don't care how much we prophesy, blessing, 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 the world is not getting no better. It's finna get worse. And there's some things that you will see happening in this world Glory to God. You still got the gospel open? Okay. So there are some things that are still happening in this world because if it doesn't recover, then they can catch it online. So um, there are things that are happening in this world that are coming that will scare the daylights out of people, that will make people wish they were dead. And guess what? That's the wrong time to be talking about killing yourself because I ain't trying to wake up and lift my hands up in hell and, and, and uh-uh, no. Thank you, Jesus. If you're going to go to hell, don't go early. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Glory, <laughs> Glory to God, but I don't plan on going there. Thank you, Jesus. I plan on going to heaven. And in the words of Mary, Mary, heaven, <laughs> heaven. And that, that way I'm trying to go. Thank you, Jesus. So, so, so I got to understand that God is with me 
even through the toughest of moments. But what we get confused is when he's not talking. Because we're looking for an immediate response from God. When oftentimes when he's quiet like that, it's because he's trying to see what moves you're going to make and see if you're practicing what you should have read. I told you what to do in this situation. So this ain't the time for me to talk. This is the time for me to watch you and see how you respond. And when I see my word being reflected back to me, then I'll move according to my word because my word should not return to me void. But it must accomplish that which it was sent out to do. So I got to make sure that the word is in me. Glory to God. Because I already told you, there's going to come a time well, you think you can hide your Bibles well, and you think you can have a Bible app, praise God, you better get you a physical Bible. Because I'm telling you right now, there's a time coming. What They already talk about how there's scriptures and stuff being altered, and you wouldn't even know it on your app because you just go for whatever you see. But because you don't have a physical Bible, you won't know how to track it. Glory to God. You won't be able to see if something changed or they done took something out. Glory to God. So you missing whole revelations. Thank you, Jesus. So therefore, we got to get the word in us. Make sure we get a physical Bible. I keep repeating this because some people may not take it that serious and still ain't made a move. Get you a Bible. Stop depending on these apps. Glory to God. It's convenient, especially when you're out and about. But I need a physical Bible. Because I'm telling you, things are getting ready to happen. And there's going to be a day where you're going to go and try to open your app. Well, you know, woman of God, I'm done. But there's going to come a time anyhow. Well, guess what? I don't think people think about this kind of stuff, Demir. The fact that there's going to be a time where if you can't buy and sell nothing without the mark, how are you going to pay your phone bill? What you going to do about the Internet? What you going to do when you can't get on TikTok and Facebook and, and, and all these social media accounts? What's going to happen when you can't communicate with your family members across the country? I don't think we think about that. <laughs> we don't think about that kind of stuff. But there's some serious things to think about. God done been talking to us. And, and one thing about it is, is I believe God told me, he said, just like in the days of Noah, he says, when I gave you the preparation code for the people, to be able to prepare themselves and to stock up. He said there's many of them that have not done it. And he said something going to sneak up on them and they ain't going to be ready and they're going to be begging somebody for food. And if they're not careful, they'll find themselves so desperate that they'll be one of the people breaking in stores. Something's coming. Glory to God. And we ain't prepared. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Well, prophet, I, we got every excuse why we can't stock up. I'm running through my snacks, God. We'll start buying snacks and buy stuff that's going to last. Buy you, some, buy you some canned food, some non-perishable items or something. You so busy trying to buy sodas. You know you hooked on them sodas. Buy, some, buy something that you know you ain't going to drink so quick. And look at the expiration date to make sure it lasts a long time. <laughs> lasts a long time. Thank you, Jesus. I need something that lasts about five years. Come on. Glory to God. They keep it in a certain room. And, and, and when the children try to go, ah, ah, don't you, don't you go in there. Put your lock on the door. <laughs> Can I have some juicy fruit? No. Go sit down somewhere. <laughs> if I don't buy no juicy fruit and put it on the counter, you ain't eating it. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. You might have to hide that stuff because it is coming. There's, there's a time where the Bible says that it's going to be really bad for those who are with child. It's going to be really bad. Glory to God. I'm not, I'm not going to go through the book of Revelations today. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But I'm just giving you a little preview. You know, this is the little trailer for the movie. Glory to God. Because you can't be able to say, well, we ain't know that movie was coming out. No, no, you're going to know that movie was coming. Because you're going you gonna to hear it. Ever so often. I, don't, I, don't, I, I have not really gone to Revelations and, and dealt with that. Um, um. And going through it, and I know some people are like, well, prophet, can you go through it? Ooh, thank you, Jesus. We'll see. Thank you, Jesus, because that's that going to take some time. That ain't no little hit it and quit it. No, that's, 
that take that takes some time. We'll see about diving in. Thank you, Jesus. But but we just got to understand that there's a time coming. As a matter of fact, it ain't coming. It's already here. It's already here. We're living in it. You just have not seen the depths of it yet. And once you start moving in the depths and, and people are just still living their best life, you know, and doing what they want to do. But guess what? You got to think about what's coming as well as you don't know your expiration date. You making all these plans, and I'm going on this trip, and I'm finna do this, and I'm finna be with Bay, and all this kind of stuff. Okay, but what if you don't wake up tomorrow? You you living your life like you got every single day that you think you gonna live, cause the promises of God. Are, you know how many people done died and they got prophecies over their life that ain't never come to pass. Glory to God. How many people just know they got these scholarships coming? And they die before they can see it. And it ain't, watch this, it ain't always because they did something. Sometimes bad things just happen. Well, God, why you let this happen? No, it ain't always that God did it. Well, let me show you something, How? and I'm done. One thing about it, when it comes down to God, thank you, Lord. When it comes down to God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. I hear you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. When it comes down to God and how he moves, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. When it comes down to God and how he moves, I'm sorry, I'm moving with the spirit and at the same time trying to finish what I'm talking about. So when it comes down to God and how he moves, oftentimes it is not going to always fit with your mindset the way you think. It's not going to always fit. Never put God in your box. God created your box. In other words, he created your mind. You just shaped it. So, so therefore, God is way bigger than that. He's way, he's, he goes past that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He moves past that. So, so in that, I got to understand that I got to trust in God no matter what. The Bible says that if the Lord was to delay his coming, even the very elect would be deceived. That's how bad the times are going to be. That you're going to want to compromise just because I got to feed my child. I got I to feed my family. I got to take care of this. I got to take care of that. Child, I wasn't going to get that mark, but I, I love God, but I got to do this. And you might well go ahead and prepare yourself for hell because that's where you're going. Because once you get that mark, ain't no turning back. There is no turning back. You might well go ahead and do everything you want to do. <laughs> everything a criminal do that you, you ever thought about you want to do, you might well go on and do it. Because you're already on your way in hell. Now, depending on what you do might determine the level of your your uh, your torture. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But those people who have already died that were not in God or that live a double life and they couldn't make up their mind, guess what? They already in a free hell. They already been tormented. This is what we call uh, a place under the earth. Because until Jesus comes and judges the world, nobody is going into... Because see, right now, it is said that demons help torment people currently. There's already a, a, a self-tormenting place. But they're already tormenting people, messing with people. People have encounters and they, and they have out-of-body experiences and they come back and testify about this stuff. But guess what? When I was younger, that didn't make sense to me. I'm like, well, how was that possible when hell is supposed to be a self-tormenting place? And I had to learn that it is a, a pre-torment. It's just a holding place until the final judgment. When that happens, the Bible says that Satan, his angels, the beast and the false prophet, the Antichrist, and guess what? Everybody else that chose not to live for God. Everybody else that chose, first of all, their name wasn't found in the book of life. They weren't saved. But then again, you got people that say they saved that's still going. 
all them that did not live according to God's will, they're going to all be thrown into the lake of fire. That's the final death. And there they will burn forever and ever. You want to know how long forever is, Sister Brooklyn? Draw a circle. Put yourself on the track of that circle. Make sure it connects. And I want you to go around that circle till you find the exit. And that's how long forever is. You will never get off. We can't even imagine that. You know why? Because we don't even live forever here. We only have a certain time, a certain lifespan. But guess what? Ain't no when you get to hell, ain't no talking about, oh, you know, well, you're going to get old and then you're just going to die and it's going to start all over. No, no, no. No, your body's going to be preserved. And everything that happens to you, because what God will do is take your body and he will, find, he will make it in such a way whereas it cannot be destroyed. But you will feel every destruction that will come to it. Bible, I know I ain't going to hell, Sister Lydia, because the Bible talk about some worms that eat the body that can't die. I don't like being touched by bugs. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And the Bible never say how big these bugs were. Never say how they look. But it said that it's a place where the worm does not die. Because your version of a worm is a little earthworm. But the Bible version of a worm might be a whole snake. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. So I just want to, I want to encourage you. Because sometimes we, we be so busy lifing to the point where we don't even process this, like the seriousness of it, the severity of how, how serious it is when I do not, when I do not allow myself to live in the way of God. This is why every day of my life, I try to make sure that anything that I need to get right, that I get it right. Anything that's in my heart, I get it out. This is why I don't, mm -mm. listen, if you bother me, I'm pulling you real quick. I need to talk to you. Why? Because I, I don't, I know how stuff turns. I ain't got time to be sour because I done dealt with that before. I dealt with, some of you don't even know my story. The church hurt that I dealt with and it took me two years to be healed. So I preach the way that I do. I teach the way I do now. Because it's, I knew how hard it was. And it took one meeting that I sat with my leader. And I told my leader, we had a conversation and understood each other. And something lifted right there. It was a conversation. So, make things right if you need to make things right. If you did something to somebody, make it right. Make it right. Whatever you, whatever you see in your life, it may not even be people. It might be just something, just, just the way you have chosen to live, and it wasn't according to God. Just apologize. Make it right with God. Why you still have a chance? Because guess what? If y'all get, if y'all wake up tomorrow and all of a sudden get a phone call and say, "Prophet dead," all you could do about that is cry. But guess what? I got to stand before God and then now I got to answer for anything in my life. Because I'm not promised tomorrow. Uh-uh, because prophet, you got bigger and greater things coming. I don't live like that. I, I, I live with expectation like that. But I don't, I don't, I, mm -mm. I don't live as though, oh no, it's promised to me that I got to live. No, no, no. Whatever God say, if he decides when I, before I could walk out this door to take me and I drop right there on that ground, that's my time. You got to change your mentality. Glory to God. I just want to be ready when it comes. Let's stand to our feet. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. I just want to be ready. Hallelujah. See, the word was going forth and there were people that was online that God was freeing their spirit just through the word and then look what happened all of a sudden they went out everything been working just fine the last few weeks and all of a sudden that's alright because that's why we got it recorded they'll get to see it later amen 
Thank you, Jesus. Let's give the Lord a praise today. Hallelujah. Thank you for speaking to us, God. Thank you for speaking to us. So look to your neighbor and say, God is with you. God is with you. It doesn't matter what you're going through, what you're facing. God is well able to make all things well. Hallelujah. Tell him he will if you let him. Hallelujah. Tell him again, he will make all things well if you let him. If you let him. Only if you let him. And watch this. And tell him only if you line up. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Father, we thank you for your word today. We thank you, Lord God, that as we have received your word this day, we will apply it to our lives. We will keep it in our mind, keep it in our hearts. That, Father, when we are faced with challenges of life, we will know that you are with us and that we are people of power and people of light. We thank you, Lord God, that we shall never be defeated because of you. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for the sacrifice that he has made. We love you so much, God. We love you so much. And Father, as we go through this service, and even as we leave this service today, we want you to be glorified through us. We will change our mentality. We will get in your word more. We will pray more. We will worship more. We will honor you more. More than what we ask. Because guess what, God, we understand that if we get to a place where we have such a relationship with you, there's many things we don't even have to ask for because you'll just do it just because you know we want it, because you know the desires of our heart. That's why your word tells us to seek first the kingdom of God and righteousness and all these other things will be added. That means it's automatic. So, Father, we thank you for the revelations of your word. Thank you, Lord God, for wise counsel that has come through the Holy Spirit today. In Jesus' name, amen. If you are here today and you are not saved, I want you to come forth if you desire to give your life to the Lord. If you're watching me online, just specify in the chat that I desire to be saved. And if you're here and you say, well, I was walking with the Lord, but I fell off and I'm ready to get back on track today. I'm ready to rededicate my life to the Lord. I want you to come. And if you're watching me online, just say, I want to rededicate. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Father, we thank you so much. Thank you so much, God. Thank you so much, God. Thank you so much, God. Thank you so much. Thank you for being good. Thank you for being kind. We love you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you're here and you have a special prayer request, you have a special prayer request, we ask, Father, that you would touch them now. I want you to come forth if you have a special prayer request. And for those of you that are watching online, I want you to put it in the chat so that I can touch and agree with you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Sister Belinda, where is Sister Belinda? Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Can you check Zoom, make sure the mic is not muted? Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Step forward. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. I touch and agree that, Father, whatever she is faced with, God, that you will be, you will hold her hand through this process. Be her guide. 
step before her, walk before her, protect her, God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, you know what it is, God, as it is in her heart. And I touch and agree that it is done in Jesus' name and that you are walking with her in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Again, for those of you that are online, if you have a prayer request, please put it in the chat very quickly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want everybody right now to get ready as we get prepared for our time of giving, for our tithe and offering. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. I heard in the spirit what the old saints used to say. You can't, you, you can't beat God's giving no matter how hard you try. Thank you, Jesus. I'm a living witness of that. Hallelujah. I give God my little bit of money, and guess what? He started multiplying it more than what I had. Thank you, Jesus. He's faithful. He is faithful. He's kind. Hallelujah. And he's generous. Thank you, kind God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. For those of you that are giving online, the methods of giving are on your screen. You can get by Cash App, dollar sign, TDCMI. I'm sorry, forgot to change. Dollar sign, TDCM International. Again, that's dollar sign, TDCM International. You can get by PayPal, or you can go to the website at TerrenceDKruger.com, and you can there give um, by uh, dollar, I'm sorry, you can give by credit or debit card. Thank you, Jesus. Or you could give by PayPal through the direct link. If you are choosing to use the link that you see on your screen for PayPal, make sure on that you select family and friends so that your money does not get held up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For those of you that are giving online, please specify in the chat so that we can touch and agree with you as well. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Anybody feel good today? Hallelujah. I'm telling you, God is God is faithful, y'all. He is so faithful. He's so kind. And I'm I'm real I'm real grateful. More than what words can really say. I don't know what all God's gonna do in my life, but I'm just expecting. Hallelujah. 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 I know the music doesn't stop, but we ain't gonna stop our praise. Thank you, Jesus. It's real quiet in here. Thank you, Jesus. Let's wake up. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you so much. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord said there's about three more of you online that's supposed to be giving. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you right now. Oh, we ain't even gave. Thank you, Lord. For those of you that are giving, you can come for that this time. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sorry, my. When I'm zoning in and out like that, I got multiple things going through my spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm just trying to process direction. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I hear you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Come here, Sister Lady. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I got to obey God.
Glory to God. Somebody give the Lord praise. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The presence of God is all over me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is doing something in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Heba son that are about who say Rebekia Tabashe Retere de Dio Tabahaya Raman Kande de Dio Satabaha Zekere de Dio Shea Raman Dio So Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, let me have you pray for this because I feel God today. Father, I thank you, Lord God. May the windows of heaven be open for our blessings that we don't have room enough to receive. I thank you for more than enough. Thank you that you're now rebuking the devourer for our sake, which means devils, you got to back off of our finances, our financial status, our bank and credit union accounts. Off of our bank and credit union accounts, off of our credit scores, off of our positions, off of our bodies, lack poverty and debt, you got to go now because the Lord God rebukes you in Jesus name. Father I thank you for restoration in this house. I thank you for peace God. I thank you for healing God. Yeah 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 yes God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus glory to God Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your wonderful name. Glory to your wonderful name. Glory to your wonderful name. Thank you, Lord. Take us higher. Thank you, Jesus. Take us deeper. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I heard the Holy Ghost say, no man left behind. Glory to God. No man left behind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for real happiness. Thank you, Lord, God, for real peace. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our life. Thank you, Lord, God, for how you're turning things around. Thank you, Lord, God, that you're answering prayers. Thank you, God, that you're making provision. Thank you that you're making ways out of no way. Thank you, Lord, God, that you're her provider. Thank you, Lord, God, that she trusts and depends on you. Thank you, Lord, God, that no man or woman, God, is her source. But we declare that you are God. You are her everything. Thank you, Lord, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Where's the Brooklyn? Oh, come. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God say, I am your source. I am your provider. Thank you, Jesus. God say, because you trust me like that. He say, watch us see what, see what I do over the next five months. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Watch us see. Watch us see what I do for the next five months. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Him I, yeah, 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 yeah. Prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Increase in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God said you should be an example. You should be an example. You should be an example. God said, hey, you'll be able to give like you really want to give. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God said, don't get stuck in the norm. Hallelujah. Expect the unexpected. Hallelujah. God said, keep prophesying. He said, I love to hear the sound of the declarations that come out of your mouth. But he said, don't let fear overshadow you. He said, don't let fear overtake you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Minister Leviticus, the Lord say to tell you, he say restoration is on its way. Restoration is on its way. Restoration is on its way. Thank you, Jesus. He said, you will not die like this. He said, you will not die like this. Thank you, Lord. He said, you will not die like this. Glory to God. He said, you will not die like this. He said, you shall live to see it happen. You shall live to see the fullness of God. You shall live to see the promises of God. For they are yes and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And God said, because you have come in agreement with my will even though sometimes your flesh may say I don't want to do it and the season that I'm in God I don't want to say yes but God said because you told me yes God said I'll make it happen he said I'll make it work I'll make it work I'll make it work I'll turn things in your favor I'll turn things in your favor and God said even with employment God says get ready and expect me to move even with employment get ready and expect me to move Thank you, Jesus. 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 I don't know who BSM 30 is. BMS 30. BSM 30. BSM 30. Glory to God. The Lord shows me in the rhythm of the spirit. I don't know who you are and I don't know what's going on in your life currently. But the Lord began to show me what looked like a money tree. Thank you, Jesus. And one thing about a tree is a tree. Thank you, Jesus. A money tree in the spirit is not the same as a physical money tree that people create. Hallelujah. Because it cannot produce more. Hallelujah. But one thing about a tree is whatever it produces, it has the capability to continue to produce. So God says to tell you, he says, get ready because your seasons are changing. He says, get ready because I'm going to cause you to walk into an overflow. I'm going to cause you to walk into such prosperity that you have never seen before. God says there is always a shaking and a troubling before you see the manifestation. And so God says, don't be moved by the mountains that you see or the giants that you see that shall come or may be currently happening. God says, get ready because God says, I have a word in your mouth that will slay every giant and move every mountain. Thank you, Jesus. God said, just open up your mouth and release light. Hallelujah and speak the command and cause things to change and God says money is coming to you thank you Lord glory to God glory to God thank you Jesus glory to God thank you Lord God thank you Lord God thank you Jesus thank you sister Kara the Lord said, I'm going into your body. Hallelujah. And I'm causing some adjustments to happen. I'm causing some adjustments to take place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God said, you've been declaring healing, healing, healing. And God says, it is yours. It is yours. It is yours. He says, just as you've declared healing, healing, healing. He said, it is yours. It is yours. It is yours. He says, I have watched your faithfulness. I have watched your faithfulness. I have watched your faithfulness. 
faithfulness and it has come before me as pleasing. And the Lord says healing is your portion. 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 And I don't know what it is about teeth. The Lord is showing me teeth in the room of the spirit. But God says strength is coming to you. Strength is coming to you. These teeth is almost like something symbolic. Hallelujah. Not a physical thing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But if you're experiencing something naturally with teeth, it is just only an indication of something that's happening in the room of the spirit for you. Hallelujah. And the Lord says teeth. He says it is a, a symbol of strength. And God said you shall begin to process things on another level because God says I shall give you the wisdom. Hallelujah. The wisdom that I have. Hallelujah. That man seeks for. Hallelujah. God said I will put it in your spirit. And God says people will seek you out just for the wisdom that you have in your spirit, says the spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 I heard the Lord say to tell you, He said, when you make up your mind and you declare it in faith and don't doubt, He said, you'll see it happen. He said, you'll see it happen. He said, you'll see it happen. He said, you got to ignore the distractions. He said, ignore the distractions. He said, that's all it is, is distractions. Hallelujah, even people sometimes. Glory to God. He said, ain't nothing but a distraction. Hallelujah, because if he can keep you, if the enemy can keep you distracted, guess what? You'll take your mind off your focus. Thank you, Jesus. And God wants to prosper you. He wants to prosper you in such a way that goes, that will blow your mind, literally, and you won't even be able to tell everybody about it. Glory to God, because God said, you got too many hands around you trying to grab and receive. Glory to God. You got too many hands around you. Thank you, Jesus. And you're just like, you know, I got to take care of my family. I got to take care of myself, you know. And God says, the thing about it, he said, this is the season you're coming into that you're going to have to take care of you. Thank you, Jesus. Because God say, I'm concerned about her mental health. Mm -hmm. He's concerned about your mental health and he wants you to have real peace. Glory to God. You know, sometimes we just feel like, oh, I just need to get away. You know, I just need a, I need a vacation. You know, sometimes you be wanting to pull your hair out. But let me tell you something. God say, no, you're going you to remain. And you ain't going to take no vacation to get no real peace. God say, I'm going to give you a spiritual vacation. Spend some time worshiping God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. You like to sing. I don't know if you sing or not, but you like to sing? Yeah. Because the Lord says, start singing to him more. As you begin to sing to him more, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because sometimes you sing to your child, right? Uh-huh. And the Lord says, sometimes he says, I want you to sing to me. He says, as you sing to him, he says, God says, just as it will be soothing to the child, God says, watch and see how my peace soothes you. There will be a divine exchange. A divine exchange. Divine exchange. Oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I don't, who God. I don't, I don't usually do this. This is very rare occasions that I say stuff like this because sometimes I know stuff and I wait and let God deal with the purpose. But God say, and I and I listen, I don't know you. I don't know where you go to church, but God said you belong here. He said you belong here. I don't know, I don't know the man. I just know what the Lord said. Thank you, Jesus. And so far, my track record when I tell people stuff like that it has not failed. Glory to God. I've had people that I would tell that and they wouldn't come. Then God would cause a whole year or two years later. All of a sudden they're here. Glory to God. I know what the Lord said. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And the main thing is because when you come in here, you feel peace. And God says, I want you to be in a place that peace can be cultivated in you, that it'll be permanent. 
Thank you, G. You gonna say I, the way the Lord showed me this in the spirit. I see like stuff falling off of you, people falling off of you, things falling off of you like dead flies, dead flies, stuff falling off. And guess what? God said you ain't even got to say nothing. He said you ain't got to say nothing. You ain't even got to say nothing. Look, uh, uh-uh, no, you ain't got to say nothing. God said just move in silence. Cause somebody, thank you, Jesus. Oh God. Man, you better be glad God don't give me no names. Thank you, Jesus, because I call it out. I show sure will you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Well, something's turning in the spirit, something's shifting in the spirit. There is one particular female, but when I see this one female, it's almost like I'm, I see like another person forming, but it doesn't form all the way. It's almost like they're trying to be in the background or they're hiding their hands so it don't look like they're guilty. The Lord says to tell you that there's somebody that's close that is not who they say they are. They really don't want to see you prosper and they're really speaking against your destiny. Sometimes it be the very people that's close up on you. Lord, have mercy. And, and sometimes it be who you least expect. But God say, don't let it discourage you when you find out. God say, you just hold your head up and just say, thank you, Lord. Because that just means the Lord just saved me from some headache. Saved me from some trouble. Because God don't want your heart to become bitter. He don't want it to become bitter. God said you've already gone through enough. you experienced enough. God even takes me back to your childhood and some things that were unfair and some unjust things that happened to you. But God said let her know that I did not overlook it. He said, I was there the whole time. He says, that even when it felt like I didn't say anything, he says, it does not mean I wasn't looking out for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because some stuff was meant to break you and to hurt you to your core. Because if the devil had his way, you would have committed suicide. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. But God had other plans. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody look to her and point and say, you got to live to see it happen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. God's going to reveal himself to you more and more. More and more. Thank you, Jesus. I just saw, oh, glory to God. I just saw a whole group of people walk in the door. Thank you, Jesus. God's going to send people to this ministry. Thank you, Jesus. He's about to send people to this ministry. And you know what's so amazing? I saw guys in this group, too. I saw guys coming in the door, too. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And I heard the Lord say, get ready for the, the men's ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ladies, you ain't forgot. There's stuff in my spirit that's going to be birthed out. But God said, I want to start with the men first. Glory to God. I want to start with the head first. Thank you, Jesus. I want to build them up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Sister Damaris. Glory to God. Glory to God. Ooh. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. When the Lord take you, he take your shoes off. Glory to God. I hope I ain't got no holes in the socks. Thank you, Jesus. That way you always got to be ready. Thank you, Lord. The Lord say to tell you, Sister Damaris, you know, oftentimes we tell people, you know, guys work with the guys, ladies work with the ladies. But God say there's some men that's going to be coming to you and attracted to you. And God say it ain't supposed to be for relationship. He say, you're going to draw them into the house. Glory to God. Glory to God. You're going to draw them into the house. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. You're going to draw them into the house. Thank you, Jesus. Because what they really need, hallelujah, if they let God do what he needs to do, they really need healing and deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Some of them have not even been healed from their childhood yet. Mm, oh Jesus some of them haven't been healed from their childhood yet and so they build themselves to be a certain way thank you Jesus see I know sometimes when people are supposed to be here 
And, you know, they just thank you, Jesus. Let me hush. Glory to God. Glory to God. Because it may not always be what you think. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. But sometimes there are people that's supposed to be here. And God is showing me revelation of why it's empty sometimes. Because the enemy fights people to keep them away from their healing. Thank you, Jesus. He fights them to keep them away from their deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. When your mind becomes so fixed on what you want, you'll miss it. You'll miss it. You'll miss it. But God said, I'm going to use you. I'm going to use you. Thank you, Jesus. Because you're going to find yourself preaching to people and it'd be like, why in the world did that come out of me? Because sometimes she's going to find herself saying stuff. And I literally see and hear her in the spirit saying, ooh. And looking like, what in the world? <laughs> Why that came out? Thank you, Jesus. Because God said, I'm going to use you when you least expect it. When you least expect it. Thank you, Jesus. Because God said, I can trust you to tell the truth. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're not vocal for no reason. <laughs> You're not vocal for no reason. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God getting ready to put a fire behind you. I heard the Lord say she got two years before she got, she gonna have to submit. That's the latest she got to submit to preach. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. She got two years max. And God say if she hit me right, she say, he say she won't even wait no two years. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. A lot of people don't want to preach because it's, it's just too much responsibility and just there's too much that come along with it. And, and, and I hear in the spirit like, I don't want to deal with people. Mm -hmm. But God called you to them. <laughs> Thank, join the club. I, I didn't want to either. If you understand what I have to deal with, you, uh -uh, no. When I was 16 years old, I changed my mind real quick. I don't want to be no pastor and I don't want to be no preacher. No, nope. I'm good. Because the simple fact, I understood from watching my pastor, the stuff, it was a lot that come along with pastoring and dealing with people. I said, nope, I'm good. See, being a prophet, I was fine. At least I thought I was. Because I, I figured you just do drive-by, foul, and I'm out. But then what happened when you get stuck with people? Thank you, Jesus. And God, God got a way to start easing it in there. Uh-huh. You thought you wasn't going to pass it. You thought you wasn't going to lead nobody. But watch, I'm going to sneak it right on in there. Effortless. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Um, Brother James, the Lord say to tell you, he say, stop doubting. He say, you put on a good face, but he say, you, you've been doubting been doubting and he says I need you to come out of doubt he says if you're going to be a real man of faith if you're going to be a real man of faith thank you Jesus why is the flyer on the screen thank you Jesus if you're going to be a real man of faith thank you Jesus you got to understand that you're going to have to walk without doubting so much and a lot of your doubts come from a lot of questions that you back literally your mind in a corner. And God says some things you just got to let it be and trust. Watch this. Trust does not require a question. Trust just requires obedience. Trust just requires I accept. But it's sometimes when we go too deep, we'll find ourselves going so deep 
that you will literally go so deep till you'll find yourself, oh, Lord, I'm outside of the faith. I ain't even here no more. That's how a lot of people get turned out now. And they start serving other gods or start believing other religions because their mind went too far. And when the devil knows that you're a thinker, you'll think it's, it's you know, this is just me, this is just me. No, no, no. The devil will mess with you until you think yourself right out of faith. He sure will. Father, we thank you again for what you have done today. In Jesus' name. And Father, we give you praise for it. Come on, somebody give God a radical praise in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. God is so amazing. He's so faithful. He is so kind. Hallelujah. You may be seated for a moment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sister Brooklyn all broke up right now, so I do the announcements. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Do what you do, God. Hallelujah. God is good. Thank you, Lord. I love when God can come and interrupt the whole flow and do what he want to do because, you know, forget my agenda. Do yours. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We welcome you to join us every Sunday at 12 noon for the Kingdom Impact Experience. Happy birthday to all who were born in the month of April. Hallelujah. We, it is our prayer that your time of celebration be one of much love, joy, peace, and favor. And may the blessings of the Lord make rich and add no sorrow. Hallelujah. We, if you want to experience relevant teachings, real talk, and solutions for everyday life, join us monthly um, for our dive-in sessions, which are held every first and third Thursday of each month at 7 p.m. on Zoom. So we inv invite everyone you know, and let's get ready to grow. Hallelujah. And the Zoom ID is 476-023-6983. Again, 476-023-6983. Glory to God. Gainesville and surrounding areas, get ready for one, the one and only annual international prophetic worship conference that is hosted by our very own myself, Prophet Dr. Terrence Kruger. Make travel arrangements, get ready, get your hotel, stay, do whatever you got to do to get in the house for the prophetic worship conference. Um, this a powerful conference um, which has made impact in the lives of many. Um, it is set to take place. This is actually our 11th year, hallelujah, for having this wonderful conference. Come on, give God a praise for that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This conference will take place on um, August the 11th through the 13th. August the 11th through the 13th. And our lineup is Lady Lydia Collier of Orlando, Florida. Some of you may remember her from last year. Um, she came in and tore the house up. Praise the Lord. And she will be back on the 11th of August at 7 p.m. And the conference, um, our conference speaker for that Saturday night is Bishop Dr. Nicholas Soto of New York, New York on Saturday, August 12th at 7 p.m. Now listen. I know some of y'all, uh, well, most of y'all, if all of y'all, have not experienced this man of God. Let me tell you something. Who Jesus? Make sure you come ready. Make sure you got your lace fronts laced very well, very well, and your eyelashes is glued very, very well. Amen. Because I'm telling you, this man is a whole tornado by himself. Thank you, Jesus. This is also uh, Pastor Prophetess Paula Chances. Beyonce, hallelujah, so you can only imagine, hallelujah, how powerful this man of God is. I'm telling you, he just got to open his mouth, and he will cause the whole room to shake. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, he's going to come and set the whole place on fire. Then there's this man of God, I don't know if y'all ever heard of him or not, but um, he's over there somewhere in um, Gainesville, Florida. His name is Prophet Terrence Kruger, which will be closing us out that Sunday at 12 noon. Glory to God. Hallelujah, so we will give you more details on this, the exact locations. We are trying to finalize some locations and things of this nature. So it will be taking place again August 11th through the 13th. 
August 11th through the 13th, hallelujah, of 2023. We dare you to expect a miracle. If you would like to receive email, uh, re if you would like to receive updates regarding the ministry and its upcoming events, please visit our website and subscribe to our emailing list at www.terrencedkruger.com. Again, that's www.terrencedkruger.com, and that's all E's and Terrence. Praise the Lord. We don't do the incorrect spelling stuff with an A. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And for the safety and comfort of all guests, if you desire to wear a face mask, please note that when you come to the services, our face masks are available at the um, at the welcome desk at the entrance of the facility. Uh, and please note that if you're sick, COVID positive or uh, closely exposed to someone um, who lives with you that has COVID or any other contagious viruses, um, during the time of our scheduled in-house services and events, we ask that you would please refrain from attending the in-house service locations until you are well and have received a negative result. Thank you in advance for your, uh, for your cooperation in this matter. This concludes our announcements for today. Be blessed and have a prosperous week. Let's stand to our feet on today as we get ready to leave this place because I'm hungry. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. After I done served, now I need to be served. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Father, we thank you so much in this place. Thank you for everything you've done, everything that we have received. Father, as we go forth into this week, I declare this shall be a prosperous week. I thank you, Lord God, for overflow. I thank you, Lord God, for phone calls. I thank you for favor. I thank you, Lord God, that you are causing things to turn, Lord God. Situations that seem to be stubborn, God, we declare that you will cause it to become softened, cause it to become um, weakened, and God, we will see the glory in the midst of it, God. You shall get the glory out of our lives this week. We thank you, Lord God, that finances and prosperity shall be our portion in the name of jesus christ god we should go in the grocery stores and go wherever we go lord god and you should touch people to bless us touch people to pour into us we thank you lord god for the wisdom that you should give us to get through this week in the mighty name of jesus we declare that all is well there shall be no hurt harm or danger incidents or accidents injuries or mechanical failures death or death reports we declare all is well in jesus name amen god bless you and we will see you next week